Right, are we done with the Star Wars references? Come on, it's gotta stop. Right. Hey people, it's this of Michael, I'm back yet again and thank you so much to the wonderful people over there at jkarmy.com who have sent me a supply drop. <laughs> Basically, they've sent me some new products for me to unbox and review for you. Oh, look at this. Oh, I wonder what's in here. This will be for another unboxing. Yes, just what I've been waiting for. Another Armour Works Airsoft gas blowback pistol. But as you've seen in the title <laughs> and in the thumbnail, this is the Armour Works limited edition custom built Luger. P08 and it looks just like the one as used in Star Wars. Oh, sorry, okay, no, no more Star Wars references. Let's do the reveal. Okay, so what have we got in the box? Straight away, I'll show you, you get your usual Armor Works card with your do's and don'ts and not really an instruction manual, but it's got your do's and don'ts. And in the box, you get the lovely piece itself. First, let's show you the magazine. Nice and thin. Quite unique, looks nothing like anything I've owned before. But yeah, this is for this Luger P08. Just wow, how awesome does this look? Now, before I go any further, I have to let you know what else you get in the box. So let me just put this to one side, just for one moment. And as you can see here, you have three Allen keys in here. You've got a piece here that you would use to mount that extra piece on the front to make it look like that stuff. Anyway, to make it look like that thing from that movie. Um, yeah, awesome. And then you've got a set of screws and Guess what, even more, <laughs> Allen keys. And at this point, let me explain. Some retailers will send you this in the original long box. So this is longer than usual for an airsoft pistol so that you get the piece pretty much looking what it should look like when it's assembled. But as you can see, it's not fully assembled. Now you will find that some retailers will sell you this piece separately or sell this whole package, but this will come in a separate box. So here you go. Okay, so those of you already familiar with the Luger P08, that's what it looks like. But remember, this is a custom version. So there are some subtle little differences, which I'll go into later. So here we go. You have absolutely everything in front of you right here that you would need to put this bad boy together. Everything on here, apart from the screwdriver, you get in the box. And you will need a screwdriver, a Phillips one to be precise, because two of these screws will not work with your Allen keys. Right, let's install this side plate right here and we've got what looks like a lanyard stud thing right here. We'll just put that on the side and as you can see there's a little flat section to the well where this stud goes into. You just line it up and on the other side you install the screw. Now these two here are the actual screws that use a Phillips screwdriver. You get two of them but one is slightly bigger than the other. You need the bigger one. Okay, so we need to secure this gorgeous looking shroud onto the P08 and we do that by using these screws. The first set I'm going to use are the smaller ones on the top right here, but before I even do that, you see that plate that I prepared earlier with the stud on there, the lanyard stud, 
You need to slot that in right there and that's where you can see this metal plate right here comes into play. Now at this point, you need to ensure that everything is lined up. So you see that right there, just slide it along so it looks all perfect. There you go. Then if you look on the side here, you've got the two holes on that plate that I showed you earlier, but also on the other side, you have a further two holes. What you need to do here is those four bigger screws, install them into those four holes. Okay, so you may have noticed I've got it on safe now, even though the mag isn't in there, just safe practices, and uh, there's no BBs in there, but it's on safe. This is the final screw. Well, for this section, there is just one more screw to go, and I'll show you where that goes. So I've just flipped the Allen key around so that I can tighten this up nicely because I don't intend taking this off. I know what I will be taking off, this horrible sticker. I'll do that in a moment. So there is just one more screw to go. And as you can see there, there's the hole. Nice. Wow. Just wow. How gorgeous does this look? Looks just like the one is used in Star Wars. I mean, looks just like the one as used in that science fiction movie. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Let me just put the mag in just to complete that picture. Again, I absolutely love how this mag looks. I'll show you right now that when you're gonna load this mag up with BBs, you do it through this hole right there and you access this hole by moving, see that spring? Moving that out the way and you do that by pulling that all the way down, and there you go. And you just pop your BBs in. Takes up to about 15 rounds, I believe, possibly 15 plus one. I'll put around 10 or 12 in there, and then we're gonna take it to the range. But just before we do that, we've gotta look at this beauty properly. So let me just pop it in. And this will be a good point to let you know that if you try to put this mag in without doing something first, this is what's gonna happen. Look, it doesn't go any further. So if I pull it out, you can pull it out all the way if you want or just have it partially there. You need to pull this bad boy up. Now this, you just pull that up and then your mag will go in with no issues. So beautiful shroud right here that transforms it into that science fiction blaster. Everything else apart from this shroud reminds me of the actual real steel Luger P08. Um, let me just bring this up closer to you. There's your safety right there. And can you see what it says? That's a German word. And you don't have to be Einstein to work out that's something to do with the gun being made safe or safety or secured. So now we move to this awesome looking rear adjustable sight. Now, right now you can see 100 displayed. Above that, there is a button on the rear sight. If you hold that button in, you can adjust your rear sight. Nice. And as I showed you earlier, to cock this pistol, you would need to pull this up like that. Right now, it's gonna stay exactly where it is because the mag's empty and the mag's in the pistol. To get this back down, you would need to remove the mag. And then you've got this very cool looking trigger right there. Now, if I spin it round the other side, this is where you will find your mag release and your takedown lever and your proper lanyard point. And personally, I wouldn't use this as a lanyard point because this is really only on here because this is what it looks like in the movie. You know the one I'm talking about. Stop. Now, the only thing this thing is missing is a front sight. But when this is on there and it looks like this, 
Who cares about a front sight? Come on! Gorgeous! Now, although I say this looks just like the Luga P08, or it looks just like the blaster as used in that movie, this is an Armourer Works custom version. So there will be certain aspects of this that will look different to the real steel and will look different to the one used in the movie and the Battlefront video game. Okay, let's get this thing ready for the shooting test. So for today's test, I'm gonna use green gas. Look in the video description if you wanna know what other gases you can use in this. And I'm gonna use 0.20 BBs. I believe, yep, I have in here. <laughs> but I've got a speed loader already ready to deploy. Okay, it's time for a shooting test. Oh my goodness. Right, sorry about that. Now, time for the shooting test. So, as this is a pistol for all intents and purposes, we're going to use that target there which is these ones up here. So what I'll do is I'll probably put about four in each, and then I'll show you the blowback action after I do the chrono test. Yes, it has blowback. Okay, so let's analyze these shots. Now remember, this particular science fiction movie themed pistol, <laughs> Airsoft one, doesn't really have a proper sight system on it. It's got a really good one on the back, but nothing at the front. So considering that, considering the distance, considering how small this is, look, here's my finger. <laughs> okay, right. Look at these shots right here, okay? Four in total. One just beneath the target, one just above. You got one just inside the edge and one almost near the bullseye. Okay, let's move along to target two. As I was getting a better feel for this piece, I was getting better results. So even without a proper sighting system, look, look at that grouping right there. Very good, there's two shots there, one there and one there, absolutely. Awesome. Now, I was going to show you this after the chrono test, but I might as well quickly show it to you now. Watch the awesome blowback action on this thing. <laughs> and it even locks back. Nice. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Sorry about that. That is some impressive results. I really wasn't expecting this. Especially the first shot, that hit over 340. Oh, nice. So what's my final thoughts on this beauty? Now, it will be so easy for me to say fantastic, super, perfect, bye, bye, bye from JK Army. It will be easy for me to say that because it was sent to me for free to review and keep. But as you know, I like to be honest with my reviews. So here are the pros and the cons. I personally wouldn't take this out for gameplay. To me that's a con because that's the whole purpose of these things. But it's a self-inflicted con if you see what I'm saying. You might be more than happy to take this out for gameplay, but with something looking so beautiful, I'd rather keep this in my display cabinet and have it as a nice display piece because those of you that know my other channel and those of you that know me, you know I'm a Star Wars nut and this is a beaut of a replica of the weapon as used by, yeah. So I love this. I love this as a collector's piece. It is perfect. You can't go wrong. Or can you go wrong? 
Well, as a collector's piece, if you're very fussy and specific, you can see something on this which is so glaringly wrong. There's certain parts of this pistol, even though it's gloriously chromey and blingy, silvery, there's certain parts that are silver chrome that should be black. But anyway, put that to one side. Another con for me, this isn't an airsoft pistol that you want to constantly use during gameplay unless you buy yourself a whole load of spear mags because these mags are so limited in how much gas it can hold and also you know you're going to get a maximum of about 15 bbs in there if you're used to carrying a sidearm like an airsoft glock or an airsoft whatever um you're probably used to 20 or more 25 26 even up to 30 uh, rounds in each airsoft mag this only about 15. So you're gonna need spare mags. I love it. I love the fact that you can, I'm going into the pros here. I love the fact that you can adjust the sight. It doesn't have a front sight, so back into a con, but I don't care. I think it looks awesome. And even in the movie, there's not a front sight and you wouldn't really use a front sight in this, would you? No, this thing is absolutely beautiful and I absolutely love how this locks back like that after the final shot. Awesome. As mentioned earlier on, the only plastic components on this are the grips. And even those, they look beautiful. They feel good to hold. I've held it without the gloves on. They feel nice. They don't feel cheap and plasticky. They've got a nice gripped texture on there. Everything else is metal. And I've got to give a huge thank you to the boys and girls over there at JK Army, thank you so much yet again for hooking your boy up with some awesome airsoft gear. Now, if you love what you see, and I can't see how you don't love what you see, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, did I just say stuff? Anyway, if you're one of those fans, hit the JK Army website where you will find this. It's not cheap, it's a collector's piece, but it's worth every penny. And of course, Check the video description below for a direct link to this at the JK Army website. And I'll put the price down in the video description also. I'm Airsoft Mike, and I'll catch you next time. May the force be, no, let me not say that. <laughs>